This chapter explains how field communication works with the TIA portal. Field communication is most commonly the communication between controllers and peripheral devices within a machine or system. These peripherals are communication-enabled devices such as distributed I.O. systems, drives, HMI panels and other field devices without control tasks. In the TIA portal, the communication of the CPU with its peripherals is represented and configured in a tree structure. Profibus and Profinet are examples of widespread communication mechanisms though Profinet is the latest standard. Apart from these two communication mechanisms, there is also ASI, I.O. link and others for the level of the sensors and actuators. Let's take a brief look at the features and capabilities of Profinet. With Profinet, for example, you reach cycle times of 125 microseconds and you can establish media redundancy. Thanks to industrial wireless LAN, safety with Profisafe is even possible wirelessly. With Profinet option handling, even the most diverse demands for machine configurations are handled easily. If necessary, multiple controllers can access one and the same peripheral device via the shared device function. Configure all these functions easily in the TIA portal. The embedded system diagnostics ensures that you maintain an overview at all times. Now let's take a look at ASI and I.O. link, which are often found in the field level. The bus system ASI is usually seen as a feeder for Profibus and Profinet with minimal wiring. A single two-wire line designated as a bus is sufficient for the power supply and communication. I.O. link, on the other hand, is a point-to-point -point connection for communication with intelligent sensors and actuators. I.O. link reduces wiring efforts thanks to its simple plug-in system and facilitates the exchange of sensors and actuators even during operation. All this can be configured easily with just one tool. How is that done in the TIA portal? We started with Profinet functions and are now focusing on configuration within the TIA portal. As you can see, some Profinet devices have already been commissioned. The TIA portal has automatically assigned addresses and device names. You may rename these items at any time. To create a ring with Profinet, switch to the view Topology. Now you can easily connect the devices to form a ring. The TIA portal assumes all of the necessary settings for you. You can control these settings in the advanced options under Media Redundancy. You will also find real-time settings where you can alter the sand clock and other real-time options as required by your application. Regarding the option handling and configuration control, you can configure these items by selecting a Profinet I.O. device and then opening the module parameters. This is also where you will find the settings for the shared device function. The system diagnostics are always enabled by default in the TIA portal. As in the online view, errors are recognized and localized immediately. The diagnostic buffer provides you with information about the error. You also configure the AS interface directly in the TIA portal. In this case, ASI can be upgraded with safety functions anytime. Click the Device tool to start the I.O. link configuration. When you set up your peripheral communication in TIA portal, 
you can configure all Profinet functions comfortably. Configure the ASI and I.O. link field devices and ensure functional safety in the same tool.